I'm not going to sell you the new amazing runtime slash bundler slash package manager slash test runner that is Bun 1.0. I am sure you have heard of all of the amazing reasons already, and rightfully so. The technology really is impressive, but should you use it? Here are some reasons why you might want to relax and carry on as usual on your dev journey and let Bun become more mature and get more traction. Some might see this as me trying to put people off of new advancements in tech, and I want to make clear that that isn't my intention. If you are super, super excited hearing about Bun, then by all means have at it and try it out. These opinions are coming from someone who is currently trying to learn Zig, which hasn't even hit 1.0 yet. And I also recently started working with Astro, which is also relatively new. Don't try to leave your regular learning and other side projects behind to try Bun. You might do this thinking, oh, if I don't get on this, then I will be left behind in the JavaScript war and my skills will become obsolete. I promise you, Node isn't going anywhere. The company that you work for and the company that you are going to work for in the future is not suddenly going to drop node. If you are new to coding and you just started learning what node is, then keep going. Don't let yourself get distracted by the latest thing that has come out. Being a web developer, this is part of the experience. New and better stuff has always been coming out and it will always be coming out. So you don't always have to jump ship on your project that you are working on and try to refactor it completely to try the latest thing. Bun has only hit 1.0. The only direction is up from here. When eventually you are in a better place to finally try it, it will be a lot better than it currently is. As an example, when I was learning how to code, I was hearing about Astro and Svelte and how much better they are than React. And honestly, at the time, I did feel like, wow, these technologies seem so cool. Should I try them? Will they make me a better developer? But I didn't jump ship and kept building with React. Only once I felt confident with my React skills, I started building with Astro, which was after the 3.0 release. It is in fact better I tried Astro only after learning JavaScript and React, because now I have the context to understand why a lot of people believe Astro is so much better to develop in, which moves me to my second point. Only knowing Bun does not give you the understanding of why a lot of people dislike the current JavaScript ecosystem. It is only after you have properly tried the ecosystem you will understand the pain points and Bun will feel so much better. Only after using Jest for testing, Express to start a server, NPM to install your modules, learning the Node API, you will realize, wow, now I see the appeal of Bun. Let's say you are eager and you want to try Bun, so you start building a project with it. A good thing to remember is that just because it has hit 1.0 does not mean that you are going to have a bug free experience and because it is going to have very few users you will not find solutions to your problems very easily online especially as a beginner if you have picked up a niche technology to start building in without understanding the core concepts of what you're working with you are not going to have a very fun time you might even be pushed away and start disliking it because your experience is so frustrating take it from me as someone who is trying to learn zig sometimes i come across problems that i can't find solutions for and i have to scratch my head for so long before getting somewhere as a beginner Beginner, chances are you're absorbing a lot of new information in a short period of time to build the foundation of your knowledge. Now imagine trying to add something even more complex like learning Bun on top of what you are already trying to grasp. This can be a bit overwhelming and might divert your attention away from the more essential things you need to learn first. It might slow down your progress because you're dealing with many different ideas simultaneously. This is frustrating because you might feel like you're not making enough progress on any of them. It's important to prioritize what you're learning and focus on the basics first. Once you feel more confident and comfortable with those fundamental concepts, then you can gradually introduce more complex ideas like Bun into your learning journey. This way, you won't feel overwhelmed and your enthusiasm for learning will stay intact because you're making steady and manageable progress. Once again, I hope I haven't put people off of trying new things. If you feel that these reasons are not a problem for you, then by all means use Bun 1.0. I hope you found this insightful in some way and I wish you success.